Now, is Minority Leader Pelosi in jeopardy, or is she about to be the next speaker? Let's ask Democratic Congressman David Cicilline. Thank you for joining us tonight, sir. My pleasure. Good to be with you. Okay, so you heard Leland reporting a little bit about what the Sacramento Bee had to say there, uh, saying this, the Republican Party is now clearly the party of Donald Trump. The Democrat Party cannot be seen as the party of Nancy Pelosi and win in November. It's getting close to crunch time, and the San Francisco Democrat must put her party and her country ahead of her personal ambition and declare that she will not seek the speakership again. Where do you come down on this? Look, I think it's one thing is very clear. What voters are interested in is voting for people who are going to fight for them, who are going to drive down the cost of health care, who are going to create good paying jobs and raise family incomes, and who are going to end the pervasive corruption in Washington. My constituents haven't asked at all. They don't care who the Democratic leader is. What they care about, what they understand is this election is about who's fighting for the people and who's fighting for the special interests. And if we are privileged enough again to go into the majority, we'll have caucus and we'll elect our leaders. You know, in this country, the Democrats elect their leader, the Republicans elect their leader. I think one of the reasons we see Republicans talking about this a lot on places like Fox, to be very honest, is because the Republicans don't have anything to run on. They did a tax bill that provided 83% of the tax cuts to the top 1%. 85 million working families will see an increase over the life of that tax bill. It created okay. a $2 trillion well, let's, deficit, let's so they, have, they don't have an let's, agenda. Let's stop and here so they're talking second. about Nancy Pelosi. Let's stop for a second there, because the uh, Center for Tax Policy, which is nonpartisan, if anything, people le think it leans a little to the left, said that 85% of Americans were getting a break as part of that tax policy. Heritage, yes, a conservative-leading foundation. Um, they did a map of the entire United States and said in every single congressional district, P the average taxpayer is going to get more money back on their taxes. Um, let me show you a couple of other numbers here. The Gallup uh, poll on how the president is doing on various issues. They looked at him on the economy. Uh, he's now above water on that. 50% say they approve, 47% say they disapprove. Shannon, People say generally they feel like they're doing well. So how can you say that the Shannon, Republicans can't run in the economy? J J Shannon, it's, let's be very clear. 83% of that tax cut went to the top 1% to the richest people in this country. That's a fact. 85 million working families will see a tax increase over the life of that tax bill. 13 million well, Americans will lose their are, health insurance. Somebody's and two numbers trillion are Let me just finish. $2 trillion is what that tax cut costs. And now the Republicans are saying, we have to cut Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security to pay for it. The American people know that, which is why this tax cut is wildly unpopular, which is why Republicans are not talking about it anymore, and they're talking about Nancy Pelosi. They are Look, talking about the, economy the fact that is benefiting improving. every single no, congressional no, district but, in the country. I mean, those are hard facts. Those are just numbers, not my opinion or Shannon, anyone else's. It's just, just math. not. It's just not working for everybody. Look, there's no question that the people at the very top have benefited. Eighty-five no percent of Americans that. are but, going to get a, a but break. The US, They're going to benefit. But the bureau, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, just released the report on Friday. Wages are down over that same period. So the problem is. The people at the top are making out great with this tax cut, but working families have seen their wages remain stagnant. There's no wage increase, and the cost of health care is going up, the, the, the cost of out-of-pocket expenses, and the Republicans are in court this very month trying to take away coverage for pre-existing conditions. So what this Why election is going to be about that, is who's fighting for the people? Why do you think the majority who, of Americans think that the president, they approve of how he's doing on the economy and say that they're feeling better about the their prospects? The president's approval ratings are historically low. No, look, no, no, on the economy, no, on the issue of the economy. No, look, I don't think there's any question. Unemployment is low. There's been job creation, obviously, built, built on the economy of the last eight years under President Obama. I don't think there's any dispute about that. But the problem is the economy is not working for everyone. Wages are not going up. Too many families are struggling just to get by. And what Democrats are focused on is how do we raise family incomes? How do we do, reduce the cost in people's lives from child care to health care to college education? And how do we make sure folks have the skills necessary for the jobs in the 21st mm -hmm. century? Democrats are fighting for the people of this country. I think they see the Republicans fighting for the powerful special interests, the big lobbyists, uh, the, the kind of the influence, the, you know, the folks in Washington. Well, and that tax bill was a reflection of that. Well, again, uh, the numbers, uh, not by our calculations, but by independent bodies, show the vast majority of Americans have benefited in some way. Uh, and the poll numbers think that the president gets the credit for that. So I understand that you all have talking points and you've got something you got to no, run no, on this No, no, it's not a question fall. to talk about. Look, Shannon, if, you're, if you get a modest uh, and temporary tax cut, but your health care premiums go up and the cost of, 
of many other things you have got, you don't end up preventing, uh, end up gaining. So I think okay. people know that, which is why the American people overwhelmingly don't think that they got a good deal. I think the rich folks made out well, all the Republican donors, all the lobbyists. Remember, okay. they were written in the side of the bill. Okay. We and did, you had we Chris leave Collins who said, my donors said, we my donors said, if we don't pass this bill, they're not going to give me any more money. We got to leave it there. But again, uh, we'll leave all it right. to the American people to crunch those numbers. Uh, come back soon, Congressman. Great to have you. Absolutely.